Hey guys, welcome to Excel Tutorial Channel again, and another episode of Statistical Function and Formulas in Excel. And this video will be very special because in this video we are going to cover forecast in Excel using the linear and seasonal forecast using different formulas and functions. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do it because in upcoming days, months, years, we are going to cover each and every part of Excel in our channel or our website, which is exceltutorial.net. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we have a very basic sheet, which is have a, a dates and we have also have a more dates added to it. And from this, we need to forecast our sales. So what does forecast mean? Which means we want to find or predict a future value, right? There's actually a two types of trend generally used in analyzing our sales data. First is linear and the second is uh, exponential or seasonal curves or trend right so in this video we are going to use two types which first is forecast linear and the second is forecast seasonality okay so first will be the forecast linear the forecast dot linear function predicts a future value of our sales along a linear trend so what here we have a date here from 1st January 2021 to 19 January and we have some sales data which is very basic which are randomly created by me so here we have a forecast uh, column here suppose you have a sales like this and you want to forecast what our sales will be on the basis of trends which we have incurred earlier sales data like this so in the first part we have a forecast linear without further ado let's just type forecast linear function so here we have a three type of arguments x known ys and known x if you have created a chart and we will create a chart using this so you must know that x will be uh, the value we want to find to start with right so which will be the 17th of january 2021 and the known ys will be uh, the y part of our chart which should be the sales part okay so this is our known ys part of our chart so while entering this formula, you can imagine a chart you are building using this and you can forecast it using this function. So here we have a B2 to B12. So I'm just making it an absolute Y because I'm going to apply that to our further dates. So I don't want to overlap our default values here. Okay. So known excess first, we have taken our sales data and the known excess will be our dates here till we have known so we have known until the 16th of january so we will select by then only and we will make it an absolute because we don't have data for a future value and we don't want to overlap it when we apply to our rest of the values so that's it that's how you can create a forecast on the le on the basis of linear trend so here just click enter so you will get a forecast of 123 sales for 17th of january so just apply to all so you will get also the forecast for the 18 and 19 it's all on the basis of this particular sales you have incurred in the past so let's create a chart okay so to create a chart we just need to select all the tables here which we have okay and now we will go to the insert so insert there are various different types of chart but for this particular forecast we will use the scatter charts here which have the x and y coordinates here you can see insert scatter or bubble chart or scatter has a y and x and y coordinates which will be very helpful for us so here you can select any type of chart here i like this one okay so just select this it has a little curve to it but as you can see there's a gap between these two so how to fill that gap we just need to enter a common sales or you can say the last sales we have to incur this will be the connector point to add the connector point we just enter the same data here so it will connect our sales to this to our next value so that looks very clean here so hope you understand how to create such fo linear forecast like this let's just add a linear trend here that's it okay so you can fill your own colors however you like you can fill on your shadow glow however you like okay so i just like this or uh, this will be the best yes this works perfect okay so let's just close it down so this is our trend linear one so let me just put it right here because we have two more charts to fulfill 
ओके सो इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट दिस इज द लीनियर फॉरकास्ट सो इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट फॉरकास्ट दैट कैन डिटेक्ट अ सीजनल पैटर्न ओके एंड फॉर दैट वी हैव अ फंक्शन कॉल फॉरकास्ट डॉट ई टी एस विच मीन्स एक्सपोनशियल ट्रिपल्स मूविंग ओके सो इफ यू आर इन टू स्टैटिस्टिक्स और यू आर इन टू एनालिस डिपार्टमेंट यू मे नो दिस टर्मिनोलॉजी आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन इट जस्ट इफ यू नो इट यू कैन ग्रास दिस पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मूला वेरी इजिली सो आई लेट मी जस्ट कॉपी दिस पर्टिकुलर टेबल एंड पुट इट राइट हेयर ओके एंड जस्ट डिलीट दिस बिकॉज आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू डिलीट दैट चार्ट इट विल बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू इफ यू डाउनलोड द शीट हेयर यू कैन प्रैक्टिस इट अलॉन्ग विद यू लेट मी जस्ट सो नाउ we are moving forward to the exponential triple smoothing so for that we have to include the formula same like we have done in the trends linear part forecast so we have got the first function itself dot ets it says it returns the forecasted value for a specific future target date using exponential smoothing method okay so let's just open the function here so first is the target date so target date will be the same this one right we won't make it an absolute because we are going to apply that into our upcoming dates so we have a values section so values for the first section will be this these are the values we have in our previous sales data press f4 and now in the next part we need to select the timeline the timeline is this right make it an absolute in the next part it says seasonality okay so the default value of one indicator seasonality which is detected automatically if you want to explore this in detail then you can opt for a request you can also type a comment in the description box if you want that part in detail then we will make the video but it will take a lot of time and efforts so we are assuming you just need to grasp the knowledge of forecast so we are just giving an overview how to create a forecast using a linear and exponential trends so here we have a uh, selected one which is the default is never which will detect automatically and close the forecast dot is so here we get an exponential triple smoothing method so we will apply it to that all and we will select this and make a chart again insert and go to the scatter part where we have a x and y coordinate here we will go let's just name it ets so we will connect it again like this and the chart is pretty much similar let's just find ets so let me just drag it down with with the upper chart so we got the two type of charts here let me just close it yes so we got the linear trends also we got the ets so it looks pretty much same here but yeah it looks a pretty much same ets is a bit lower and more realistic if you are into statistics you may know this by now so this also a third method to calculate your forecast sheet as excel gives us a power if you have a excel 2016 or later it gives us power to automatically forecast your data okay so how you can do that you can easily select all the sales you have incurred until now don't select the future ones like we have here just go to the data and click on this particular forecast icon here so it, it also have a what if analysis that's a video for another episode so we are talking about the forecast so it will automatically create a forecast for upcoming days so here if we select it so see this so it will create a forecast for our particular dates and sales as you can see dates are here and the sales are here so you also have an options panel here which you can modify according to your own taste so timeline range is this values is this seasonality detect automatically like we have done in ets part and we have a forecast we have a forecast start and fill missing points and however you like okay and we can also aggregate duplicates using however you like so if we just click on create so it will create another sheet like this and it will also create a chart like this let me just put it in our screen here so it just it just automatically let me just put it right here yeah. so it will be created a new sheet like this and you can customize as however you want so that's how you can customize so hope you understand how you can forecast in your excel using these set of examples or set of functions so you can easily create your forecast numbers if you have learned something from this video please click the like button 
if you have something in mind or you have got something from this video you can use the comment box if you want to share this to your colleague friends or whomever you want you can choose the share button so see you in the next video until then bye bye